Hey everyone, welcome back to the channel. Today, we're diving into the Wolf 25 AD counter drone combat vehicle, a cutting edge platform from Slovakia based DevTech designed to tackle the rapidly evolving threat of unmanned aerial systems or UAS on the modern battlefield, blending robust mobility, advanced sensors, and lethal firepower to protect ground forces from drone swarms and other aerial threats. And whether you're a military tech enthusiast, a defense strategy buff, or just fascinated by the future of warfare, you're in for an absolute explosive episode packed with every detail about this game-changing anti-drone system. So buckle up and get ready for the ultimate deep dive into everything that makes the Wolf 25 AD a vital asset in today's high-tech conflicts. Developed in response to the growing prevalence of drones in warfare, as seen in conflicts like Ukraine, the Wolf 25 AD was unveiled to address the urgent need for mobile, scalable counter UAS solutions, with DevTech announcing its successful trials and deployment in Ukraine by August 2025, where it has earned positive operational feedback for its performance against small, low-flying drones including first-person view or FPV models, and the vehicle's origins lie in DevTech's Wolf platform, a mine-resistant ambush-protected or MRAP vehicle with a V-shaped hull for enhanced protection against blasts, designed to operate alongside mechanized units, protecting columns on the march or during offensive operations, and its development was showcased at the IDA 2025 International Exhibition in the Czech Republic, highlighting its role as a dedicated air defense asset, and let's break down its core features, starting with its chassis, a modular 4x4 armored platform powered by a 450 horsepower 9-liter diesel engine offering a top speed of 100 km per hour and a remarkable range of 700 km, with an independent wheel suspension and automatic transmission ensuring high maneuverability across rugged terrain. And the vehicle, designed for a four-person crew, driver, commander, technician, and gunner, measures approximately 6.5 meters long, 2.5 meters wide, and 2.7 meters tall, with a gross weight of around 15,000 kilograms, making it agile yet robust for battlefield conditions. And at its heart is the Mangart 25 AD combat module, developed by Slovenian company Valhalla Turrets, featuring a turret-mounted Orlikan KBA 25 by 137 millimeter automatic cannon, capable of firing proximity fuse high explosive rounds to intercept drones at ranges up to 350 meters, as proven in tests against FPV drones, alongside armor piercing and incendiary rounds for engaging light vehicles and ground targets, paired with a 7.62 millimeter machine gun for additional flexibility. And the system integrates a multifunctional S-band active electronically scanned array, or AESA radar capable of tracking up to 150 air targets in a 360-degree sector, with detection ranges for small drones, like the DJI Phantom reaching 2.9 kilometers, supported by the Lotus Light Optical Electronic Station, which includes day and night cameras, a thermal imager, and a laser rangefinder for precise targeting in all conditions. And the Wolf 2580's counter-drone capabilities are tailored to the modern battlefield, where low-cost UAS, from commercial quadcopters to military-grade loitering munitions, threaten armored units, supply lines, and civilian infrastructure, with DevTech emphasizing that traditional air defense systems are ill-suited for these small, agile threats, making platforms like the Wolf 25 AD critical for gap filler air defense and its operational success in Ukraine, where it has been tested under real combat conditions, underscores its ability to neutralize drones that disrupt radar systems, communications, and mechanized operations, and the vehicle's modular design allows for potential integration of additional weapons, such as anti-tank or anti-aircraft missiles, enhancing its versatility for evolving threats. And while specific production numbers remain undisclosed, DevTech has hinted at follow-on orders based on strong field performance, with the system's cost-effectiveness and mobility drawing interest from militaries reassessing their counter-drone strategies, and the Wolf 25580's combat record is still emerging, but its deployment in Ukraine since at least 2025 marks it as a proven asset with trials in Slovakia confirming its ability to intercept drones and protect ground forces, and its cultural impact is growing. 
featured in defense media like Defense Blog and Militarni, with posts on X highlighting its sleek design and battlefield relevance. And looking to the future, the Wolf 25 AD is poised to evolve with upgrades like enhanced radar algorithms, integration with networked air defense systems, or even directed energy weapons to counter drone swarms more effectively, ensuring its relevance through the 2030s as drone technology advances and its ability to operate in high-threat environments, from urban combat zones to open battlefields, positions it as a key player in reshaping air defense tactics. So there you have it, fans. This is the ultimate deep dive into the Wolf 25 AD counter drone combat vehicle, a Slovakian powerhouse redefining how armies counter the drone threat. And we want to hear from you. What's your favorite feature of the Wolf 25 AD? Its 25mm cannon, its AESA radar, or its rugged MRAP chassis? Do you think it's the future of counter drone warfare, or are other systems catching up? Drop your thoughts in the comments below, smash that like button if you loved this deep dive, subscribe to the channel for more epic military breakdowns, share this video with your fellow defense enthusiasts, and hit that bell icon so you never miss an upload, because we've got more cutting-edge content coming your way. So stay tuned, and we'll see you in the next one.